Hi, welcome to the session. In this session, I'm going to show you how to delete a database. Delete of the database is not an easy task or it is not uh, like regular task. Okay, as and when we are going to decommission, decommissioning the existing database servers, which are in older versions, you already upgraded to the next level. Then only we need to do these things. Let me uh, elaborate more on it. Okay how to delete Oracle database on Linux. Okay, on any server, if you are going to do this, uh, we can perform in different, different approaches, but we are doing on Linux machine seven, OEL seven, another way you can say Oracle Enterprise Linux seven. So why we need to do, why we need to delete the database and how we need to delete the database so first question is why why we need to delete if your database is if you have old databases which are okay which are there on the same server okay where you have upgraded like you have 12c version 12c database version and 19c database version on the same server if it is a different server that is okay okay that is okay there also we can do the same thing but if you are in the same server you are having multiple database versions but you want to delete this database server it is not required because it is consuming the resources and uh, we have assigned some storage and all right so if you are not using then you can decommission these things even though you are using different server okay if you are using different servers 12C is on one, another server, 19C database is on another server. Still, if you want to uh, delete this server, you have to de mean, uh, clearly uh, remove or delete the softwares which are there on this server. Then only our server team will decommission the servers. Okay, Whatever the software is there, that is our responsibility. We need to delete it properly. Then only the servers will be decommissioned and that server will be used for some other purpose. Okay, that is in that cases we are going to do these things and how we are going to do this, how we are going to delete the database. Now I'm doing 19C database. Okay, whatever it is, you can use the same approach. Let me show you, I'm using dbca command to configure the database. Also, we can use the same command and uh, to what I can say to delete the database and modify the pluggable databases. A lot of things we can perform using dbca database configuration assistance. Okay, let me show you now, practically. Here it is my primary database. As of now, it is in which mode? Yeah, my database is running, up and running. And the uh, listener services, yes, listener is also listening, like it is up and running. If you want to see it as it's DBA, select name, comma, open pen underscore mode from v dollar database we can do it guys in os level whatever the files is there there we can do it if it is uh, only the database is installed on the server we can drop it remove if an rf and everything we can delete it but if you are having some other instances also here if you want to delete properly then we have to use this thing this is a better approach to go ahead and delete your databases by using dbca command, we will get this uh, GUI prompt. Okay, then here you see, if you want to create also, we can use the okay. same. Existing the database, if you want to change some other configurations and all, you can use the same. Uh, managing the pluggable database, which are there on the server also, we can use the same command. So now what we are going to do, delete the database, click on this. And if you have multiple databases, you have to read it. Here in our case, in my case, uh, this is uh, demo one, right? I have one test database. So I selected that. So if it is a rack, it will show you that as what type of database, it's single instance or multiple instances. So we need to provide the sys, uh, sys admin password. Sys, uh, not admin, sys DBA password. Okay, what is the password for sys? We need to provide it. Then click next. If you have a OEM, it is there. If these targets are uh, installed for this one, you can do this OEM related services as well. As of now, we don't have any OEM. I'm not going to select anything. So this is your 
configuration thing whatever the things you are going to delete see here it, it will be shown you clearly source database it is this and the control files wherever we have the control files we are maintaining the multiplex and all right all the locations the uh, this is a flexible guys that's where if you are going to delete manually we don't know where exactly what kind of files we are storing but if you are using this uh, recommended method dbca command then it will be clearly uh, deleted all the mount points, all the folders, all the, see these many table spaces, users, I have the information. Click on finish. The database configuration will delete the Oracle instance and the data fields for your database. So destroy it. Are you sure? If you want to continue, click on yes, I'm sure. It is preparing for the DB operation, connecting to the database. Updating the network configuration files like listener, TNS names, SQL net, Agora, everything. And then after updating all these things, deleting the instance and data files. The last step, if you want to see these details, here we can see it. Okay, even if you want to find the DBCA log file, go to this location, CFG base location, CFG tools, DBCA, and the test is this or SID then the trace file this file also it will show you the details so this is the way we are going to delete the existing databases okay by upcoming videos i will show you if i have multiple databases and how i'm going to delete it that operation i'll show you it okay done guys so clearly it's performed prepare for the db operations everything is succeeded then close this details one and click on finish so now we can check it. No S1 process. Listener is there, but the database services has been dropped. Network parameters might, it, it could update that parameters. Okay, SQL plus as sysdba connected to ideal instance, nothing running on it. So it is not, nothing is there. So we have successfully PS hyphen PF pipe rep what else tns we already saw right another background that is fine what i need to do is oracle home this is my oracle home software whatever the software i have software is there i have deleted the database now and uh, in oracle base location we have these for our data files and other recovery files check all the file sizes See what our data zero. It completely deleted 7.1 gig for software. It is not the database. Database software. I can say not the data. It is a software. See data has been deleted clearly. And FRA other things will be there. Okay. Those we can delete, delete it manually. If you enable the FRA flashback recovery, those files will be there. Those will not delete as part of your uh, uh, this thing. DBCA database uh, deletion option. Okay. Whatever the important thing, CRD files and other things, those are going to delete. This way we have to delete all FRA related files. And then let me show you network files. See here we have a listener and TNS names, network files also. This also we need to check. This is there, that's okay. And TNS names dot vara. This file also there, it is not going to take it up anything, but I don't see the test instance related information in the TNS entries. Here also test DB is there, test is there, but listener file is there, but in our uh, TNS details, it is not there. Okay. Like this, the test should be there, TNS entry. That is also not there, that is deleted. And uh, one more place where my P file, where is my P file? It is not there, it is also deleted as part of our parameter file, password file. Where is my password? Password file also not there. These two are the backups. So to delete the database, these many files it is going to delete it. And also let me check Vara tab. ETC Vara tab. Vara tab entry is also not there. And inventory I want to check. Inventory will be there. Why? Because right, it is not a specific, in, instance specific. The inventory is the uh, instance specific inventory, you call it as a local inventory and the server level complete is a global inventory. That is different scenario. I will explain those things in later sessions. Okay, guys, we are good now. We have deleted completely. Now uh, I'm planning to install another database that I'll make it another video later. Okay.
Thanks for watching.